Everyone is going to learn to feel. I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cutting me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? I'm gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. Oh, I will, I can promise you that. Best part is, you won't even see it coming. Now get the hell out of me way! Only family you need. Maybe. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. My friend's got a point bug. Every pirate in this joint comes to the Nova for a drink. Seems to me, instead of trawling deep space for stick change... I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Right here at home. Volkov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. No, Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. I guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. We'll talk later. Volkov's been at the event, so it's simple. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want, but if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. 
Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? All Rokoff does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credits. Stay sharp. Look, you can make all the... Either way, I... Yeah? And who do you think Delgado's gonna back in a dispute? All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Good luck. Yeah? Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. If you got any spare creds or just need to unload some junk, head to the depot. the Crimson Fleet go, we'll fall. Where it is the fleet has you chasing ghosts on Suvorov. There's one thing spookier than a pirate. Yo, back. So how did it go? Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? I understand your concern, but you can rest assured that every member of this crew has been thoroughly vetted by both myself and Lieutenant Toft. Any information that you turn over will not be leaving this ship until it's fully encrypted and encoded. I give you my word. If the intelligence I've read is accurate, Delgado is a charismatic leader, but a bit short on judgment. That's why you want to stay on his good side and stay away from Neva. She's shrewd 
and she sniffed out everything we've thrown her way. Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? That one's simple. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the key and you didn't immediately follow, well, we almost thought our operation was terminated. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. And for some reason, he never got there. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Crix wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer shinny of us, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. And let Neva Mora take his place, or shinny of us or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. I bet operations on the key are a clown show. Nice work. 
About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Well, I'll be damned. Someone from the fleet finally agrees with me about something. It's a goddamn miracle. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Don't play games with me. We both know pinging a message back and forth to the key is going to take longer than we have to do this job. We're supposed to be working together on every part of this. So, you're gonna tell me what else you're here for or not? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? His credentials. So you're hitting the Gall Bank branch in New Atlantis. Nice score, very lucrative and very dangerous. If you're going after a gold mine like that, I'll want to come along for the ride. Or you're not getting near Dombrowski. You're insulting my intelligence. Delgado wouldn't send you all the way out here without specifically telling you what you're allowed to offer. I'll tell you what, though. I'm gonna make this extremely inexpensive for you. In fact, you don't have to offer me a single credit. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. <sighs> Fine. You wanna play it that way and suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. He's a VIP executive, which means... He either worked really, really hard using blood, sweat, and tears to make the arduous climb to the top, or he backstabbed, lied, cheated, and betrayed his way up the corporate ladder. From what I've heard, it's the second option. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. 
Dryden equips all of their starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. These newer vessels is more or less run autonomously. Which doesn't... Between you and me, the best part of my job Can't hear the engines, can you? You're not going to find better tuned engines anywhere else in the settle system. particular cruise run several times and I can assure you that the route is quite safe. If you have any specific requests, please speak to one of the cruise attendants. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello, are you a member of the society? On that behalf of myself is and absolutely the entire team spectacular, at isn't it? Lines, we wish to thank you for choosing to travel with us. Here Why for business or pleasure? Liner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a star. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Besides what I already told you? That award is such a joke. It's for members of the society to pat their own backs for spending the most money on the cause. Not much other than the fact that they host these wonderfully entertaining gala events every month. Enjoy the Are rest of the event. The, canopies? Horrid. the society chair I has really horrid. outdone herself this time. The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates are the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. Haven't we... It's for the society's high rollers. If you don't have more than eight figures in your account, I wouldn't even bother going after the award. You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to contribute, though the minimum donation level is 5,000 credits. Hmm. Well... That was boring. So, what brings you aboard? Here for business? Or pleasure? Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people, if he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Hello, are you a member of the society? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank. Which means, he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. That's all then? Okay. Quite a lovely... I heard he uses Galbank's VIP suite on the Siren of the Stars almost monthly. Does the man do any real work? 
Nice to have met you. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every crime. Yeah, uh, can we do this later? I'm busy. Pleased to make your acquaintance. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. That's all then? Okay. So what brings you aboard? In the event of a lockdown, remember to return. Don't forget to keep your star view pass handy at all times. Please remain in designated passenger ballroom. areas at all times. Have a safe journey. That view is at I certainly hope that he's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swift. Enjoy the rest of the event. Have you tried the society chair? He's been spending a lot of time. Don't forget to donate to the cause. I certainly hope. They decide to hold all future societies.